This is the future. The best gimmick of an Incanon weapon is that we can evolve them into something more powerful than the normal variant. Just think of the Letum. The pistol has seen an increased usage in just a matter of weeks or months, and in the recent survey, it is placed number 2 for the top pistols in the game right now. And the number 1 was currently Kuvanuka. This survey was last year, and I don't know where Letum sits right now. Probably, at the top since Digital Extremes did nerf Kuvanuka, and many would say that Letum is the best weapon in the game right now in terms of raw damage. You just can't put it on the mastery rank fodder after having so much damage, capable of melting enemies in seconds without even the need for critical hits. Aside from the stats per evolution, the Incarnan weapon has a mechanic wherein you will gain access to its Incarnan form. Once Incarnan form is unlocked, landing headshots fill the Incarnan transmutation gauge that transforms the Letum into an automatic weapon via the alternate fire key. The Transform Letum will be a fully automatic pistol that deals radiation damage in a small area of effect. What's more interesting is that, instead of drawing from the Letum's ammo reserves, Incarnan Form gives the Letum a unique magazine from 18 rounds per charge to a maximum of 216, indicated by a bar underneath the reticle. Letum and the Incarnan Rifle, called Finma shares the same mechanic but the only difference is, the shots has no area of effect for Finma and when it comes to modding, Letum has a slight advantage due to availability of more primed mods than the primary version. Well, not really a big factor but if you compare them and put them in real tests, you will somehow find Letum to be more efficient in time to kill compared to Finma. There's another Incarnan weapon, and it's a shotgun named Felix. The Felix is an Incarnan ceremonial shotgun, normally a fully automatic shotgun that sports high damage and closely knit pellet shots with individual shell reloading similar to the Strun. Achieving enough headshots will allow the player to temporarily transform it into a pair of high damage semi-auto pistols. The Incarnan form is quite interesting on paper, but honestly, if you compare the damage of the Felix just by using the normal form, you will then realize that its evolved state sucks. Don't get me wrong, the high damage projectiles deal decent damage as you can see in your screen but, the normal form just hits harder. The thing about this Incarnan shotgun is it can melt enemies in seconds, but time to kill would be a problem in endurance runs for Felix. However, this is not popular with just killing normal trash mobs, it is some sort of a boss killer, or a special unit killer that is. It can take down the hardest enemies in the game such as Acolytes, Eximus units, demolished units, and even archons, aside from the Kuva heck, this Incarnan shotgun can one-shot the archon if you have a primer gun and you shot the crystal of the archon directly. There are a couple of things that make the Felix an absolute powerhouse. One is that its final evolution gives you a 2000% damage bonus on non-critical hits. This is one of those weapons that are allergic to critical builds but does a fuck ton of damage anyway. The second reason is that it's a great candidate for gundition overload setup, this is one of those weapons that maximize the full potential of galvanized savvy, and with a primer gun, any prime gun such as Kuvanuka, Epitaph, or even the underrated Tissus, it can melt enemies in just a couple of shots. This is the one that kills bosses easily, and this is the one that takes down Arjun fast even solo while using Revenant. It's a pretty solid weapon so, if you are having second thoughts about farming the Felix since some players told you that it's not as interesting as Fenmer or the Letum, then I hope this video lets you see the true power of Felix. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.